Piasecki Helicopter Corporation was founded in Philadelphia in 1940 by Frank Piasecki. He pioneered the design of the tandem rotor helicopter with the PV-3 in 1945. He later refined the design with the H-21 workhorse in the mid-1950s. But by 1956, due to a fatal crash of a helicopter in testing, the majority of the owners in the Piasecki Helicopter Company lost faith in Frank Piasecki and forced him out. He left and formed a new company, the Piasecki Aircraft Company, and began to pursue the development of compound helicopters and other rotor-powered aircraft. In the late 1950s, he designed and built a prototype flying jeep for the Army called the VZ-8 Air Jeep. It looked like someone combined a motorcycle with two large cage fans. The concept never really made it out of experimental phases for uh, obvious reasons. In 1962, he designed the 16H Pathfinder, an experimental high-speed helicopter. It combined a traditional helicopter, but with a directional propeller located at the rear of the aircraft to push the vehicle forward. Its top speed was 230 miles per hour. So it wasn't really that much faster than a regular helicopter. But by the mid-1970s, he was working on what would end up being the largest aircraft ever built. The Helistat, was a concept that combined the buoyancy of a blimp and combined it with the dynamic lift capabilities of a helicopter. This would give greater maximum lift capabilities for heavy lifting work. The helistat could be steered by increasing the rotor speeds of one of the various helicopters which would tilt the entire vehicle to one side or the other. The PA-97 prototype was built for the U.S. Navy contract that partnered with the Forest Service to create a vehicle capable of lifting massive amounts of timber from inaccessible terrain. The PA-97 was 343 feet long and was attached to four Sikorsky H-34 helicopters, which had their tail rotors removed and replaced with a standard airplane propeller attached to a gear reduction box from a P-51 Mustang to provide forward propulsion. These were mounted on an aluminum skeleton located below the blimp envelope. Below the frame, four large freewheeling casters were mounted and made up the P-97's primitive landing gear. It was thought the P-97 would first fly in 1985, but this was postponed due to a redesign of the skeletal structure holding the helicopters due to it failing under load tests. Uh, more on that later. The testing was done at the Naval Air Engineering Station in Lakehurst, New Jersey. Uh, the PA-97 would first fly on April 26, 1986, but on July 1, 1986, the PA-97 crashed after completing a test flight, killing one of the four test pilots. A large gust of wind came up from the rear of the aircraft, causing the PA-97 to move across the tarmac. The undercarriage was subjected to massive amounts of vibration from ground residents. The pilots collectively increased the throttle to lift clear of the ground in order to reduce the vibrations, but by this time it was way too late. The structural framework of the aircraft was already under harsh criticism for being pretty shoddily built, and this resonant stress completely shattered it. The starboard rear helicopter completely broke off of its mounting point. Its rotors cut into the blimp's envelope and the entire aircraft imploded violently. The crash of the P-97 ended the program. The PA-97 cost $40 million to build and cost the life of a test pilot. Since then, there has been other proposals to create similar vehicles, but none have ever actually been built. It remains the largest aircraft to have ever flown. And it was insane, as you can see from the pictures and the videos. Um, this is probably one of the most unique. <laughs> it is the most unique aircraft I've ever seen. Um, I had actually never even heard of this thing until someone in my comments suggested I do a video on it today. So I decided to look it up and as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah, I got to make a video on that. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I enjoyed making the video. It's pretty crazy. I love these weird, unique topics. So if you guys have any more of these suggestions of this weird, strange stuff, uh, put it in the comments. All right. Thanks.